plan kita ni berjaya kan? Gagah seperti naga. Cerita setiap masa. Assalamualaikum semua. Terima kasih kerana menonton uh, Fit Fat bersama Hasin Dali yang sekarang kita udarakan pada waktu malam. Yalah kalau kita dulu uh, lunch time ni kadang-kadang orang rush, ada yang mengatakan pada saya mereka tak boleh tengok kerana lunch hour uh, kena sembunyi-sembunyi uh, dekat office. Jadi uh, insya-Allah kita ubahkan uh, waktu siaran ni mudah-mudahan uh, kita dapat lebih ramai penonton. Ya, dan hari ini kita akan berbual tentang satu perkara yang mungkin ramai geram tak tahu apa nak buat kadang-kadang kita terpaksa melalui uh, walaupun apa yang kita lakukan dia tak boleh kempis iaitu perut kita dan uh, kenapa saya uh, pilih topik ini kerana memang walaupun kita uh, tak kira usia dan juga lelaki dan kaum wanita akan menghadapi isu perut buncit dan bersama saya yang akan kita kupas tentang fakta-fakta perut buncit ialah coaches fit fat iaitu coach Riza Yunus dan juga coach Raihan Yakul. Apa khabar semua? Selamat malam. Selamat malam. <laughs> Konnichiwa. Oh, malam tu pakai jaket eh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, jadi saya rasa kita ni nak berbual tentang perut buncit eh. Hmm. Dan ah, terima kasih bagi anda yang telah menonton Fit Fat Muan juga. Kita akan Betul. juga mengupas isu tentang kesihatan kolon nanti. Ah, bagi perut buncit ni saya cuma nak tambah lah eh bahawa uh, kita akan mengalami masalah ini one one point in our lives. It's, it's dulu, not one point lah, many, many points. Many, <laughs> many points. <laughs> many, many points. Tapi dulu bila saya muda-muda sebelum kahwin tu, tak pernah buncit. Uh, tak, payah, tak perlu buat apa-apa. Kita makan cups ke apa, kita memang muda, aktif kan. Uh, tak ada hal dengan perut tu. Cuma bila kita mengandung tu, dah melahirkan tu lah mulanya uh, perut buncit ataupun uh, rasanya perut tu tak macam dulu. Dan sekarang hmm. memang harus berbuat macam-macam lah untuk hmm. mengepiskan perut. Memang tak sama lah. Kalau Yalah, kita betul. wanita yang dah melahirkan memang tak akan sama. Tapi uh-huh. tak mustahil untuk betul. mendapatkan perut kempis. Eh. Uh, tapi kalau kaum lelaki apa masalahnya sebenarnya? <laughs> Uh, kaum lelaki ni rasanya Kenapa memang kita ni okey saya tahu wanita dia mereka lebih lebih macam conscious eh apa yang mereka makan tapi lelaki ni apa nak 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 pada bunyi gitu eh lelaki pun conscious juga ada lelaki, lelaki conscious just, correct tapi, tapi, tapi just uh, they just don't care lah yeah, they just don't care selalu ni lelaki berat badan bertambah dan saya rasa perut tau naik Betul. bila lepas kahwin macam happy sangat ah, yeah. eh? kata orang isteri pandai masak Betul, the wrong one the wrong one saya ni kalau dah kahwin jangan naik tak perut, perut tak boncit isteri tak pandai masak <laughs> memang apps tu bukan it's, it's not it's not just workout eh ya yeah. uh-huh nak kena jaga pemakanan Betul. kita. So pemakanan you got to eat. You got to watch what you eat. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very important. Dan saya rasa kita punya perut ni makin buncit bila kita tak buat apa-apa tau. Kita mendah mm, aje. Bukan apa lah. Kadang-kadang kita ni office worker. Bukan uh. kita tak nak bergerak. Tapi kita dekat pejabat, dekat uh, dengan laptop ke komputer, mm. kita kat situ je. Betul. Memang kerja kita tak memerlukan kita berjalan. Uh-huh. Eh. Tak macam semua orang macam FIFAB eh. Kerja kita berjalan. Uh, yeah. Kita train orang. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Jadi kita beruntung sambil kita train yeah. orang tu kita pun berpeluh Jadi berdiri. bayangkan kalau dalam 8 jam kita bekerja tu, yeah. lunch time 1 jam, tapi 7 jam tu kita duduk. Ya, yeah, betul. Lepas tu balik rumah tengok TV lah kita kejam. Uh, uh. Jadi hmm. bukan semestinya oh agaknya dia orang keperut kempis buat 1000 sirap tak. Ah. Tapi gaya hidup hidup kita macam mana? Adakah kita selalu duduk hmm. ataupun kita berjalan ke sana kemari? Hmm. Uh, itu yang me, sebenarnya uh, what it shows lah eh, kita betul. punya lifestyle. Betul. Tapi saya nak kongsi dengan penonton eh, tentang waist circumference hmm. ataupun apa yang kita katakan um, ini adalah indication of our health mm-hmm. uh, status of our health pasal kalau kita tengok badan kita selalu cakap pasal rupa perut boncit tu tak lawa pasal kita pakai baju tak lawa kita bimbang tentang kita punya saiz yang mengembang tapi sebenarnya ada lebih perkara yang lebih membimbangkan tentang waist kita yang mengembang ni hmm. pinggang yang mengembang iaitu waist circumference ia menunjukkan 
status kesihatan kita. Indikasi lah. Hmm. Indikasi yes. that you That's yeah. right. Jadi Betul. kalau kita uh, sebagai kita sebagai coaches uh, fitness profession memang kita belajar tentang waist circumference. Kalau anything above 40 inches untuk kaum lelaki adalah zone berbahaya yeah, atau berisiko tinggi lah untuk tapi uh, penyakit penyakit to obese related diseases like hmm. diabetes Betul. hypertension dan sebagainya kita Jadi, tengok carta ini. Uh, carta ni bagus eh sebab hmm. dia memberi indikasi kalau anda berada di dalam zon yang hijau maknanya anda Healthy punya cara, cara, yang cara yang betul cara yang betul untuk untuk ukur waist ah, circumference sebab yeah. waist ni kan? ramai yang mungkin yeah. tak tahu eh mana waist eh okay. uh, waist tu mana ada yang ah. kata orang pinggang tinggi lah sini ke nah, sini ada kalau orang pakai seluar kan ada yang low rise high betul orang suka pakai pakai seluar atas perut eh tak bagus ah. eh betul. but actually that's where it is correct kalau you pakai seluar atas perut that is actually ah. where your waist is cuba tengok infografik kita, kita punya waist tu is the circumference yang paling kecil paling kecil sekali di antara da- so, even for men eh sama untuk for women juga okay. betul jadi pinggang the portion yang paling kecil di dekat perut hmm. tu kan the, di atas daripada bahagian sikit. dada dia ke punggung jadi punggung is our hip ha, uh-huh. tapi waist tu kalau is the smallest portion <laughs> okay, ha, jadi kalau so, kita rasa tumbuh badan kita ni <laughs> tengoklah mana yang paling kecil tu ha, situlah kita siapa suka pakai seluar atas, atas perut tu ah okay, uh-huh. that's the correct so that's that's saya lah kecil-kecil tu saya suka pakai seluar <laughs> atas punggung saja <laughs> kalau kaum wanita kurang daripada 35 inci anda alright Yes. Kalau lebih harus Correct. sekarang so. bukan terus nak buat apa tahu. Just be an, a health indication that you have to watch out. Betul. Uh, jadi apa? Mungkin ada fikirkan pemakanan, gaya hidup anda dan juga kita um, kata orang um, what you can just okay this is how we want to explain. Maknanya anda punya lemak-lemak tepu tu ada di keliling vital organs anda. Yes, ataupun the uh, the so, subcutaneous fats, fats dengan visceral yeah. fats in the body. Yes, yeah. and yeah. itu lah right. kerana itulah yang berbahaya. Yeah. Betul. Right? Jadi kita perlu bergerak lebih, kita perlu bersenam. Bukan kita hmm. terus buat apps ataupun exercise untuk perut sahaja. Kita tak boleh spot reduce. Coming yes. back to the, the point where we, I was, I was talking about, uh, is your apps built in the kitchen? Eh, you yeah. Kita ah. jaga makan dulu. Perut kompis dari kitchen, bukan dari exercise sahaja. So, but that doesn't mean betul, betul. that there's no exercise that you cannot do. Kita so boleh kuatkan otot. Exactly. So if you can have uh, uh, different different kind of exercise that we have mm. for your stomach, mm. that will make your stomach stronger. Definitely, we're going to show mm. a couple. Kira macam yes. core exercises lah. Jadi kalau anda dulu mungkin 40 inci eh, mm. bila dah tiga bulan dah tukar gaya hidup, cuba measure lagi. It's just yeah, an betul. indication. Tak betul. selalunya kita harus pergi uh, take measurement yang dalaman. Mm. Ini macam macam just an indication that are you doing the right thing. You know, mm. yeah. Betul. So coach. Um, no, I think you're, you're right. Uh, kalau uh, for your waist circumference ni. Uh. Is an indication yang visual sekali. Visual. Kalau Betul. orang namp- you tengok sendiri mengembang, mengembang <laughs> tu, you definitely you have a tali pinggang mengembang yeah, kita worry yeah. ya. Exactly, exactly. Nah, kita yeah. worry. Jadi yeah. Yeah. bayangkan eh, uh, kalau kita rasa it's a small matter, it is not. Uh, it is time mm, to actually reflect. Do something about uh, lifestyle. Uh, do something ambil about aksi something eh, jangan jangan duduk Berjalan, diam. Just get active. Yes. Uh, uh, get active. Bergerak, bergerak, berpeluh. Bergerak. Uh, uh, bergerak berpeluh. Jadi kalau kita cakap pasal senaman eh. Memang kita tak boleh sport reduce. Betul. Takkan nak buat sesuatu perut je ambil badan yang lain. Ada orang. <laughs> yelah ada yang ingatkan dia orang kena buat crunches. Ah, seribu. Every single day. Satu hari. Kan. Ah. Hanya untuk kurangkan yes. lemak di situ. Yes. You need to overall. Kan. It's an overall. Total body workout. Hmm. Betul. Tapi saya rasa um, tak salah kalau kita nak buat apps workout untuk menguatkan hmm. otot. Menguatkan lagi otot yang ada di situ lah. Jadi Coach Riza ada share exactly so i have exercise. three uh, different exercises today i'm going to do two on the floor okay. and one on the on the on chair, the chair lah. Lah. Okay. so so different way satu okay. supination supination namanya kita Uh, baringan. Tuh, no, kebanyak, kebanyakannya baring. exercise uh, perut besi baring. Uh, baring. baring kan? Itu Masa bagus ya, dapat baring. Uh, dan <laughs> baring. anda di rumah boleh <laughs> ikut push. Tak payah dengan kasut senaman. You yeah. are where you are, okay. stay there and just follow uh-huh. through. Great, right. so I'm going to do one on the floor okay. here. So right. one is, not, normally kita baring, supination. Eh? Okay. But no, I don't want to do baring sekarang. I nak duduk. Do so that. I will sit down. Alright. And I want to do this. Uh, so everybody just going to sit down, put your hands at the back as a support. For this is a beginner. Okay. Hey, this is something uh-huh. that you can do. It's very simple. Okay. You tuck in your left leg. Okay. Your right leg just hover above the ground. Again, you just lean back slightly. So okay. as we do this, you're going to come up. Bring your leg up, straighten. Uh, your knees are not bent and then go down. As you go down, your body go down a little bit. Oh. As you come up, control. your body come up. Control. Okay. So let's do that eight more times. If you're doing this with me, let's do this eight more times. Okay, go. Three, up, four, up, okay. five, good, six, 
Jadi apa yang seven, dia lakukan adalah untuk eight, kuatkan otot di nine, perut eh. And yes. This is so an app exercise lah. It's also compound Correct. at the same time. So now you're tucking your right leg, left leg hover above the ground. This is one of my favorite things to do. I'm yeah. people who attend my boot camps Correct. and my SGT will do this. I have already done two here. So you guys yeah. going to follow me on the third one. Coach, yeah. kita punya lutut tu Four. kena lurus eh coach. Lurus jangan jangan bend don't bend it. I got yeah. seven and eight and nine and ten. Look, I've just done Uh, uh, one right, one left. What you can do is you can do 10 yep. on the right, 10 on left. We do mm -hmm. that three sets mm -hmm. and then we are done. Okay? okay. So that's one. The second so one we're going to go la. on pronation. Okay. So which means a very simple thing. Um, <coughs> everybody loves doing this exercise. It's just called the plank. So we're just gonna do most people when they do the plank, the main error is the triangle that is made by the arms is at Kitamir Dada. It's on our chest. So we don't want that. We want to push it out a little bit. Okay. All right, and then we're gonna come up. Okay, we're gonna come up. Mana tangan kita tu di bawah muka kita lah. Exactly. That's better. In front of our face, just hold it up there for about 20 to 30 seconds. People who are want a regress version, you can do it about 15 to 10 seconds. That's good enough. I'm gonna come up on the chair. So I just did two exercises there. Wow. Yeah. Jadi dua baring atau duduk eh di lantai dan sekarang satu yang kita did it when we are pronation lah. Uh, just plank. Oh, yeah, plank. 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 But if you Tapi want to regress, tak boleh, macam yeah, mana? you can do it here. Dekat kalau regress, you dekat kan lagi, senang lagi. Dekat lagi lah. But obviously, when your hands are out here, it's more difficult. More, than more it's challenging lah. Upper body strength. Exactly. Well, kan? So, uh -huh. Rahan, you want to do this with me? Oh, okay. Okay, let's do it. If you're on a chair, Okay. I want to like sit mid chair. Boleh pakai office lah, kat chair. Exactly, exactly. You have a high chair. So, hand grips underneath the chair. Uh huh. First thing I do, it's gonna tuck in your leg. Okay. And then point. Okay, tuck in my leg. Okay, sekejap. Okay, you can do it. Aku dah buka ke sini. Okay, point. Okay, that's right. So, tuck in. Okay. And point. And point. Let's do it. Let's do eight more times. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. One, three, and four, and I can see the cameraman doing it together with us. Six. Good job. Seven. Good. Eight. Two more. Nine. My hands feeling it. And ten. Drop it. So again, this is a very simple exercise, Linda. That you can do. Just three. Look, there's more. To mengakan otot-otot. Exactly. This is X. And you also feel on your legs a little bit. Yeah, you feel on your legs. So it's so it's good. It's good. I think it's good. It's about kalau yang mereka tengah tengok sekarang menonton boleh buat. Kalau anda di panggung wayang pun boleh buat. Orang depan macam yang muda buat. The thing is, I can show you three very simple things that you can do on your abs, and these are very effective abs exercises that also works on your legs. Kita tak perlu nak buat beribu-ribu eh. Macam yeah, kalau saya punya small group training pun, kita last 10 minutes kita buat apps. Mm. But the whole, the rest of the class is core work, core uh, work in cardio. leg work, cardio eh. Jadi, uh, yang penting apa yang kita makan. Kita ada resipi yang kita nak share. Yeah. Uh, we have four yeah. recipes, recipes later. Eh, tentang -tentang later. Yang yeah. bagus nanti, untuk yeah. kita punya perut <laughs> sedap. Masa perut Banyak happy. orang tengah tunggu tu, sedap. Linda. Memang itulah kita punya. Yeah. Uh, punya hmm. Kita orang, uh, orang punya favorite segment eh. Uh, <laughs> But for now, kita ada lagi satu kita cerita ni yang berkenaan yes. dengan perut. Okay, perut ni oh, yeah, betul. Uh, kita nampak luaran cantik lah ataupun kempis ke tak kempis ke pakai baju yang boleh tutup perut lah. Jadi yeah. nampak mm. macam okay, visualnya not so bad. Eh. Tapi kita punya dalaman ni, kita punya kesihatan perut, oh, yes, kolon. Yes, yes. Yeah. Ini yang kita lakukan untuk video Fit Fat One oleh mm. Rahat. Recently, the uh, last one that you did. Yes, yes I, I enjoyed that one. Yes, uh, very good. Dan uh, mungkin bagi anda yang terlepas uh, pandang tentang video FF1 kita yang kita selalu lancarkan setiap minggu uh, dan hanya mm. satu minit untuk anda mendapatkan fakta penting tentang sesuatu eh. Jadi mari kita lihat dulu video. Ya, yeah, mari kita lihat. Jika kita tidak makan serat ini boleh merosakkan usus besar anda dan juga boleh membunuh anda. Saya Coach Syahan untuk FIFA 1 minggu ini. Biasanya jika kita makan, makanan itu akan dihadam di dalam usus kecil kita. Tetapi usus besar pula adalah untuk menghadam serat dan juga untuk menyerap air. Ini bermakna jika kita tidak makan serat, bakteri di dalam usus besar kita tidak mempunyai makanan untuk menghadam atau dihadam. Dan dia akan menghadam kulit usus besar kita. Kedua, bakteri itu akan menghadam sisa-sisa makanan yang lain yang menyebabkan toksin bertambah. Dan apabila toksin bertambah, gas-gas juga bertambah dan akan mengembangkan usus besar kita. Seperti contoh, jika anda tiup balon, Belon itu akan besar dan akhirnya belon itu akan menutup dan itu juga boleh terjadi pada usus anda jika anda tidak jaga. Jadi jangan lupa untuk makan serat, jaga usus besar anda dan amalkan gaya hidup yang sihat. Itu saja dari saya Coach Shohan untuk FF1 minggu ini. 
Seperti seperti main belon. Eh? Seperti belon. Wow. Yeah, belon. Wow. <laughs> Kita ni sedang kiat mengusik coach Ryan. <laughs> Pronunciation of belon. Belon, belon kan. Walaupun Yelah. saya ni jarang buka. Belon ke balon ke. <laughs> Asal kau faham lah ya. But, saya uh, ni. But you know what? Honestly, that is a very good video. Very Linda. Good I, 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 you know what? When yeah. Ryan was telling me about that, uh, this, is the, this is the idea. And, and I, I, I told him, you know what? You hmm. got to tell people about this fact that mm. the, uh, the vegetables the serat fiber ah, is is, di- is being processed by your lo- uh, by your B- large intestine, large intestine mm. by cologne, besar, by the eh? cologne I mean. dan mm. the catch phrase is boleh membawa maut 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 so maut I, I, agree. Like, betul. i agree and betul. That, and ini adalah satu uh, perkara yang mungkin kita selalu ambil ringan mm. ada orang tak suka veggie look sometimes we have to do things that we don't like or we have to eat things that we don't like it is good for us jadi uh, coach Uh, k- kalau kita kurang serat misalnya you cakap tadi boleh membawa maut dan sebagainya tapi apakah lagi fakta-fakta yang boleh membantu kita untuk menjaga kesihatan kolon kita ni kita tak okay. nampak dengan mata kasar ni apa berlaku kat dalam eh betul jadi um, topik yang ta- betul tadi tadi apa yang Kak Lida cakap especially kalau kita tak nampak apa yang di dalam eh. uh-uh. dan seperti apa yang dia kata tadi kalau seseorang tu mungkin nampak kurus tapi ada banyak lemak di dalam badan which is co- uh, which is sesuatu yang skinny fat oh yes kan? dan ada pel- uh, clients kita Toffee yang macam gini ni Yes, ada yang nampak slim oh. yang tak pernah exercise tak makan, makan pun ya. tak jaga tapi masih juga slim tapi uh, kita tak tahu apa betul. yang ada di dalam tubuh betul. badannya dan kalau kita breakdown di dalam kolon kita kolon kita ataupun usus besar kita seperti tadi hmm. saya cakap katakan kalau kita makan biasanya makanan itu akan dihadam di dalam usus kecil hmm. tetapi ada makanan contoh seperti serat hanya boleh dihadam di dalam usus besar air juga akan diserap, uh, diserap dalam usus besar. besar jadi dalam usus besar tak mempunyai enzim untuk hadam tapi ada bakteria. Jadi ramai orang yang akan bakteria ni tak bagus. Ih uh-huh. bakteria bakteria tapi sebenarnya bakteria ada yang bagus, ada yang tak one. bagus. Good and bad bakteria. <laughs> Jadi the good bakteria sebenarnya dia ada banyak di dalam usus besar kita dan tujuan mereka adalah untuk hadam makanan seperti serat. Dan serat prebiotik adalah their food. Kalau awak tak makan serat, bermakna kan tak adalah makanan untuk mereka hadam, mereka dia akan... Dia ada diagram untuk oh, ini. Yeah. Ada, kita ada diagram. Yeah. Ya. Jadi dia akan mula memakan benda-benda yeah. lain dan akan keluarkan Jadi banyak toksin. Si. Jadi kalau kita nak tengok infografik di antara uh, serat, yeah. ya, eh, sorry, uh, usus besar yang sihat dan usus besar yang tak sihat, yeah. anda boleh tengok perbezaannya. Oh. Jadi, itu yang saya katakan tadi, kalau wow. kita dia banyak sangat kumbung, toksin, eh? kalau terlalu banyak sangat uh, gas, dia akan mengembangkan kita punya usus besar dan ini boleh terjadi pada kita. Kita dan ini juga boleh membuat perut boncit eh? ah, Pasal macam kembung kan tengok ah, dia kembung, punya eh, Kalau macam kilau sebelah kanan tu ah, ah. Kalau kita tengok memang definitely boncit lah kan Rahan? Betul Jadi kadang-kadang orang rasa bloated-bloated Bloatedness ah, This could juga be juga one of the reason ya. Jadi kalau anda kurus tapi anda boncit ah, Ini mungkin sebab Dan ini ah. anda perlu ni lah further test lah Kalau betul ah, ada, ada masalah dalaman ah, Kalau kita lihat ya ah, Infografik seterusnya di antara Usus besar yang kurang sihat dan usus besar yang sihat kita boleh lihat ya uh, perbezaan di antara uh, struktur dalam ataupun dalam how it looks inside jadi um, struktur di sini ataupun infografi di sini memang a bit uh, scary tapi ini adalah yang benar jadi seperti anda lihat unhealthy colon ataupun unhealthy usus besar wow. mempunyai gas dan bloating masalah sembelit dan juga masalah this, toksin this yang terlalu banyak. Sebelit pun anda dah touch on this issue eh, the Betul. previous yeah. Dan FF1. ini boleh menyebabkan colon cancer ataupun barah kolon, oh, okay. ya, so, barah usus besar. When, when, sadly, Linda, we have a, you know, we know, we know a couple of friends yeah. who have, yeah. who yeah. have who are diagnosed. I think it's colon Correct. cancer is the number one cancer. I think we learned from our friend yeah. Arun. Yeah. Uh, one of the common Singapore. cancers yeah. in Singapore. Yeah. Correct. Correct. Dan ini gambar macam foto one, foto two ni mm. hanya kita boleh dapati melalui skop kan? Yes, yeah. saya. So, yeah. so, yeah. so ini skop yang telah di di lakukan eh, lah. lakukan ya yeah. jadi wow. this is real image really eye opener real right? yes. yes. jadi kita jangan fikir tentang perut kempis perut kempis tapi kesihatan perut tu dalaman tu Betul. kita tak ambil, uh, ambil correct pula very ya very jadi macam mana kita nak elak daripada mendapat uh-huh. unhealthy colon ataupun um, uh, bara usus besar uh-huh. kita harus makan makanan yang tinggi dengan prebiotik uh-huh. kita juga kena makan yeah. probiotik dan kita juga kena makan banyak makanan yang best best <laughs> yang ada good bacteria okey yes. jadi mari kita lihat yang wanted good bacteria ataupun kita perlu kan bakteria yang baik untuk dalam usus besar kita kita perlukan makanan seperti yogurt kefir itu adalah ubi lah dalam masa mm, Melayu uh, dan kita juga perlukan uh, bahan-bahan seperti tempe kita tempe pun ada dalam list ni sebenarnya mm-hmm. kita orang Melayu sebenarnya memang makan makanan semua kecuali tetapi kita dah goreng 
Kita ah, dah, dah ada minyak dah resap. <laughs> dah ada macam-macam eh? jadinya. So it removes the Kakak nak makan ni baik so, tapi cara, cara masak cara masakannya yang telah ya, ada berubah. Oh, some of this stuff is my favorite, man. Saya suka ah, miso eh fermented yeah. uh, tofu. Ah, uh, dan beans, ada bahan-bahan yeah. yang kita di sini yang kita boleh gunakan akan digunakan di dalam kita punya resepi jalan yes, kita. Yes, especially the legumes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> legumes. Legumes. Oh, legumes. Legumes. Eh? <laughs> legumes. <laughs> kalau macam orang Mexico saya pakai pakai legumes. Yalah. Okey. Okey. Orang Mexico pun berbahasa baku eh. Okey. <laughs> okay, nanti kita akan upload resepi dan kita akan tunjukkan resepi-resepi di akhir rancangan kami. Uh, tapi sebelum ini apa-apa lagi nak tambah. Jadi kalau kalau kita ada sembelit misalnya, this is an indication or also that our colon maybe not so healthy. Betul. Ke apa. That's yeah, the first. Of water. Yeah, jangan ambil uh, ringan juga eh tentang constipation ni. Yeah. Betul. So those people like who have water. yeah to have this condition mm-hmm. do get it checked early. So yeah. this is what I've learned from my friends who went through uh, and have cancer is to get it checked early so this okay. is a very very important to the doctor get it checked there's nothing Betul. there's no harm and mm-hmm. uh, just get it checked Betul. yes yeah. itulah pesanan dari kami dan uh, selepas ini kita ada beberapa pengumuman uh, pengumuman <laughs> uh, jangan ke mana-mana bersama kami lagi I am Haslinda Ali founder of Fitfab the leading muslimah fitness and wellness movement in Singapore I founded Fitfab in 2014. In 2015, I launched my first line of Fitfab apparels. Till today, I am designing and creating head to toe muslima apparels. fit for the active hijabis Selamat malam semua dan terima kasih kerana masih menonton FitFab bersama Sindali dan coaches-coaches FitFab. Dan dalam segmen ini kami hanya ingin mengumumkan beberapa perkara dan yang paling penting minggu ini, kita sedang bersiap sedia untuk celebrate our fifth year. Yay! Fifth anniversary for FitFab. Alhamdulillah. Five. We are five this year. Five years yeah. of yeah. being yeah, yeah, the leading coming. fitness and wellness movement for the Muslimah. So, <laughs> so, sorry. Yeah. Okay, so uh, anyway, Alhamdulillah kita nak announce yang kita punya Fiesta 5 ni Yay. sudah sold out. out sold out sold out <laughs> biskut sold habis out. our dragon Finish. boat are full pisang goreng dah habis yo full. tapi tapi yeah. jangan gusar kalau anda masih ingin datang kita masih sambut anda yeah. kerana kita masih ada uh, for dance Betul. fiesta which is at the end after the dragon boats are over from 1 o'clock onwards we do have the fit fat fiesta dance and Now let's look at the infographics. It's going for fifteen dollars. Yes. And this, you can come in. You can also walk in on a day, or you can purchase this from the website hasdalififat.com. For fifteen dollars, you actually can participate in the fiesta still and Correct. enjoy the activities like dance and 
treasure hunt with Coach Rizal. Yeah, jadi and kalau you have datang, prizes to win. Yes, yeah, kalau anda datang awal, anda boleh masuk ya yeah, treasure hunt. If not, the dance segment will be featured right featuring, at the end. Yes, featuring Zwi. And Zewi. we have Coach Zwi coming with us this, yeah. this weekend. I think I, I, of course, Zwi is in every fiesta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ever yeah. since one, eh? She knows about the movement from day one. We and also have. Supportive. We also have. <laughs> 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 Penari <laughs> dari Silver Tortoise <laughs> daripada Breakdance Era iaitu Sujimi Muhammad yang Yay! bersetuju untuk joget He's satu coming. lagu satu yeah. lagu <laughs> dan dia suruh Raihan choreograph yeah. ya pasal dia pun tergiyan dia dengar lagu yeah. Bounce Back jadi nanti insyaAllah dia bounce. terpaksa praktis mulai uh, hari ini. Dia tengah sibuk, dia praktis uh, uh. ni. <laughs> dia mesti praktis. Dia praktis. Jadi kalau ha. tengok Sujimi Mohamad joget, eh? yeah. uh, Coach Raihan joget, yeah. saya joget, Coach Rizal saya joget. Saya akan buat lagu dangdut je <laughs> semua. Dangdut uh, everybody. Ada dangdut juga, jangan takut. Ada lagu tiga lagu Melayu dan saya juga akan buat lagu Melayu pasal ialah memang kita punya favorite uh, yeah. uh, orang-orang kita. Eh? Orang kita punya event ni, Fiesta. Jadi kalau anda ingin membeli Tiket untuk lima belas dollar tak nak dragon boat dragon boat tu semua. I think besides all Just that, we also have a lot of other things that happening yes. on that day, like uh, the red pedal boats, right? Yes. So oh, kita ada red pedal boats yeah. untuk yeah. keluarga empat orang lima orang. Yeah. Boleh naik. So throughout the fiesta, mm. while the fiesta is going on, just come in, walk yeah. in from the yeah. Going to the red pedal boat, yes. you can pedal pedal the boat all any time. You can see right there at the any bottom time. of the. Susah yep. uh, eh. DM. Bagus exercise untuk oh, pukul. Oh, memang <laughs> so uh, leg exercises everybody. Uh, so uh, anda kena everybody. cycle ya. Yeah. Exactly. For family, four person can be in at the same time. Yeah. Then so then for the whole day, yeah. your ticket available. You can get that. For, you know, as many times as Dan kita ada clearance sale for merchandisers juga. Yes. Kita ada yes. merchandise Can sale. Hanya sale yang crazy sale ni hanya pada Fiesta. Hanya kita pada tengah hari Fiesta sahaja. Up to 50% of sale uh, discount. Uh, yes, yes, tengok tu. Yes, that's right. Uh, yeah. Tights, yeah. ada tights, hoodies, hijab. Merchandisers. Kita ada tote bag juga. Our, uh, apa tu? Our tote bags, tote bags, our hoodies, hoodies our, our latest hype to tights. Hike to tights the merchandisers well. that we have are all exclusive. Yes. Yeah, exclusive. Kita tak ada reprint lagi. Yeah, Jadi memang, yeah. Lagi. Yeah. So last if you, are, uh, you get it at the sale, yeah. you get it. That's it. Yeah. So you have to come hmm. and if get up to 50% off. Betul. You want it? You Jadi ada it. orang tak suka online. Dia orang nak tengok barang itu sendiri, jadi dia orang boleh datang. And don't worry if you don't want to pay too much cash, it's just active wallet. Yes, yes. Yeah? QR code. Just scan. You can pay, pay now pun ada, pay lah pun ada. <laughs> on yes. the spot, on the spot. Okay. Pay later, we're using active magic. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, dan bagi mereka yang memang dah bayar yang $40 oh, tu yang dah sold out ni, mereka yes. ada yes. goodie bags. Oh, yes, okay. goodie bags. Yeah, 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 we have goodie bags and t-shirt. As as yeah. uh, normal every year, kita ada drawstring bag, eh, and dengan yes, t-shirt. Yes, correct. And this t-shirt like this like year. Like colour, eh, every year. This t-shirt every this year is green. Is you know, green. 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 The MRT, the MRT semua boleh nampak you. Senang. Yes. So Cantik, Coach Rizal yang design. Yeah, but it looks good. Because, you know, it looks good. Design by Coach Rizal. So, those yeah. yang yeah. dah book, they don't have pre-order the size pun. Yes. Siapa yang mas- yang beli lepas 20 hari bulan, mereka dapat free size. Free size. Betul? Yes, that's right. That's right. Oh, alamak. Best, best, best. So, looking forward to that. Dan juga dalam goodie bag, apa lagi yang ada? Uh, kita harus uh, give a shout out to our, our sponsors. Yes, yes. to our okay. sponsors. So, uh, we would like to give a shout out to uh, Sports SG and Active SG for giving us yeah. Yeah. Uh, Get Active Water Bottles. Uh, also, yeah, Get Active uh, Care Badges. Care badges. Uh, we also have Gardenia Bread. And we also yes. have uh, Eco Brown sponsoring Rice Powder, which is very right. interesting. You think we that's a new product. Yes, yeah. that's a new product. They want to introduce yeah. to us. Yes, Last year, they sponsored the brown rice and, and, the and, the <laughs> yes. 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 and we also have some refreshments we have Ewa mineral water thank you thank you um, thank you so much and juga kazana yeah. sweet kita yang sponsor the cookies. cookies are the six flavors okay and that's a logo of our oh, that is logo. amazing i'm looking forward to get that cookies yeah oh, but i really great. want the Cookie cranberry one <laughs> <laughs> so each person tak tahu nasib eh dapat yang mana there are six flavors yes that is favorite white chocolate dark chocolate Tapi chocolate sedap. chip yeah. of course so I'm not so much up. I think that's my cheat day for that day. I'm not gonna dance, so it's okay. That's right. Okay, so I'm so sad. Kita pergi gaduh pasal ke cookie tu. But for now, just wanna let you know, kita akan berhenti sebentar pasal kita nak masak, nak set up the dapur. Kita dah ada new look pasal tiga orang masuk dapur, kecoh sangat. So don't go anywhere. Lepas ni, kelentang kelentu bersama Fit Fat. Ding, 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 ding.
kita ni berjaya kan? Gagah seperti naga Cerita setiap masa daripada coach-coach kita yang sadu-sadu ni yang pandai yeah, masak ni. Tak belakang tu barang. Ah uh, kecoh eh kalau kat dapur dengan orang lelaki. <laughs> Faham kan? Tadi kita dah berserak tadi rehearsal dia tak uh. tak, tak boleh angs eh. Okey hmm. sekarang kita nak uh, pastikan makanan kita hari ini memang bagus untuk colon health. Yes. Betul? Dan Banyak serat. Dan makanan daripada kita perut buncit <laughs> ya. Dari jauh-jauh. Right. Kita Correct. nak kempiskan perut pun begins from the kitchen like coach Rizal says. Betul. So coach Rizal akan mulakan sangat. dulu dengan resipi anda <laughs> iaitu Okey, so uh, my, my, my recipe ni memang pada, tadi saya cakap Mexico kan? So, yeah, Dia daripada just... Mexico. <laughs> so, it's potato wedges, potato wedges with uh, beef chili. Yeah. And it's all air fried, eh? air fried. Okay. Air fried, there yes. is Maka carbs, there is uh, fiber, yes. protein. Ini pada mereka yang dah makan-makan malam kan? Dan menonton hmm. ni, sila kontrol sikit ya. Jangan <laughs> makan Kalau malam, malam <laughs> jangan banyak sangat potato wedges lah saya rasa. Correct, this, this is good for lunch. Mm -hmm. Ya, yeah. good, good food for lunch. Mungkin ada yang tengah menonton ni melalui apa balik. Okay, jadi nanti okay. kita, kita akan upload mau naikkan uh, resipi di page Hasin Ali. Buat masa ni teruskan coach. Siapa okay. yang uh, wants okay. to look like this, kita makan dia punya resipi. <laughs> Tengok okay, tak. so I'm gonna go there for, uh, to cook. Alright, so, go. go. So, okay. Okay. Kita jadi inilah sini, dapur eh. kita yang baru ya. Sebab ah. dapur kita ni dah berubah. Jadi ada ada kitchen. Kita yang ada go renovation. So, tempat goreng-goreng. Eh. Okay, the, silakan. Yeah, the first thing you do, of course, the resipi ni memang resipi potato wedges so the best is you can do it yourself you mm. chop up your own potatoes but mm. I just simply uh, get the potatoes from the supermarket and I got this Linda so I, eh? it's already cooked a little bit here already so just I'm gonna heat it up again, yeah so too. I'm gonna put it in just put it into the air fryer mm. it's about 20 to 25 minutes don't don't cook beyond that because Rehan cook uh, beyond 25 minutes and Hang it became Aduh, kalau so orang pun macam ke dapur, mesti hangus. Kalau hangos. orang dah ke dapur, habislah hangus lah yang ke. <laughs> so, I just, uh, I'm going to on the cooker here. So, okay. inside here, I already dah ada ground beef eh. So, ah. I, I use ground beef. Ah. Today, you can, Jadi, you boleh use ground chicken, lah. chicken uh, it's up to you. Uh, ground eh? rusa pun boleh, ground arnab, but we use ground beef today. Apa pun yang halal. Ya, yeah, apa yang halal. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. So, Ayah pun boleh kan? Actually. Ayah boleh. Ayah Ayah boleh juga dia juga lah. dia pergi rusa, dia pergi arnab. Arnab lah, lah rusa so, lah. So, inside pula. this ground uh, beef, uh, what I've done is I've put uh, Linda, the uh, olive oil extra virgin ni. It's just butter? a simple spread. Yeah, it's like Can we use the oil as well? You can use I the oil, but I use mm. the butter because it just gives that nice flavor. Flavor, la. eh? Because the pre dia kan? Yes, correct. Ah. So, uh, as you can see, that it's already cooking and it's a bit hot. Oh, dah boleh bau dah. Yes, exactly. Ah. So, it's nice. <gasps> uh, so, <laughs> what I want to do, very simple, <laughs> I also have black beans. <laughs> again, black beans, you can get it from the can. Mm. Ah, then uh, kacang ni jadi legumes, eh? Again, they're talking about legumes, legumes. And I'm going to put, so you're going to put the legumes, which is the black beans Legumes. here. I'm going to put half a yang can of black beans. Yang bagus untuk kita punya usus besar. Usus besar. Kerana ia mengandungi serat juga yang serat akan dihadam. Exactly. Dia, Low uh, fat protein from plant-based. Yes, pada mereka eh. yang ada juga soalan yang macam mana ah. saya nak tingkatkan protein intake. Tapi saya tak nak makan daging. Tak suka daging ah, kan? Inilah dia. Hmm, kita lebihkan legumes. Kekacang-kekacang. So you can, yeah, so, uh, you can look yeah, at it the... Uh, how it looks like inside so it's just wow. uh, basically ah, yeah okay. ground beef and the black beans eh so we can make kidney beans ta red the, actually in, in the recipe i letak kidney beans oh. tapi kidney beans is not available okay, okay, okay. so you use, you, know, you use black beans black beans yeah. is really good okay, you know what pa. they use for black beans they use uh, they use it in tortillas Tortillas yeah. and it's very Mexican. Okay, very Mexican. Uh, very so Mexican. again, on Kita in here, the main sauce base will be uh, the mushroom uh, sauce ready here. Made. Ready made. Kalau anda nak buat from scratch, boleh yang okay. rajin. Yang macam kita ibu-ibu yang bekerja ni, susah sikit. So again, yeah. my recipe very, very fast, very, very simple to cook. I think one thing to take note eh, is that uh, can products macam ni, they contain salt already. So kalau boleh, yeah, jangan I tak letak pakai. garam. Correct. Uh, I tak pakai garam, tambah. tak pakai apa? Don, 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 don. Yeah, don't put extra lah. Uh, don't mm. put extra garam, okay? Ya, yeah, actually dah banyak perisa eh. Dah banyak perisa yeah, dah. Betul, betul. Last pun tak ada garam, kita rasa dulu. So, mm. just just give it a good stir. And this will cook in about 5 minutes lah, Linda. 5 yeah. to 6 minutes, the thing mm. will cook. 
Hmm. Aku suka resipi macam ni. Balik kerja dah terus. Dah, ter- ah, senang mudah kan. Uh-uh, Tapi sekarang mudah. ni dah bau tau sekarang. Saya tak tahu saya bau daging dia atau saya bau wedges. Ya, yeah, wedges. Ulala wedges dia. Pasal dia hidap lah. again uh, tadi dah masak. Oh my yeah. god. Okey. Kita kita lapar. <laughs> kita lapar sebenarnya. <laughs> Dari rehearsal tadi dah bau belum makan. Tak apalah ni. kalau saya lapar saya makan ni jelah eh. Ah, Nak daun ni. Kos untuk kolonial ah. sana. <laughs> So again, just to uh, have ground beef, black beans, and uh, mushroom. I use mushroom sauce. You can use marinara sauce, whichever you are your your favorite lah. Apa sauce uh, yang you nak pakai okay. for the? Okay. You can see Jadi, that is coming up a little bit. Mm. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover this up a little bit for a while, whilst I am gonna prepare the. Oh, memang dah sedap lah, dah bau dah. Yes, memang yes, rasa yes, sedap lah. Tak payah nak cakap banyak. Saya rasa yang menonton ni sekarang di rumah hmm. ni, saya Mereka rasa ada semua power. dah makan makan malam ya, sebab dah. Um, dah kita so tercabar sekarang. Kita tercabar <laughs> sekarang ni. Jadi saya memang selalu kongsi lagi. cara macam mana nak elak makan malam kan. Tapi kali ni mungkin kalau anda Apa nak, nak boleh ya. buat, boleh rasa. Tapi yang lain tu semua simpan mungkin untuk esok lunch. Mungkin boleh buat for breakfast ke lunch. Yes. Besok? Jadi saya ha. ni lah kan. Ha. Kedua kalau betul betul ah, tak tahan minum air. Wedges kedek kedek dah siap. Uh-uh. Oh, oh. So I just, wedges no, I just serve siap. the uh, wedges here onto the so plate. Funny. Yeah. So ya Allah mencabar kita nasi exactly. payah bukan bulan puasa kali ini. Almost. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Like the sauce is almost done. It's almost done. Okay. Ah, jadi sauce sudah siap eh? Almost, almost. Yeah. Oh, just gonna, la la. Just gonna stir it yummy, for yummy, another yummy, one yummy. minute. Just, you just take, just give it a good stir. You know, you say it's hot, then it's really good stir. Makan nak makan. Kita ni untung sebenarnya kali ni. Sebab kita apa? Kita dapat first taste. Apa-apa kita try kita eh? Kita try dulu. Try dulu. Kita dapat so first taste. So this chili kita... then will just, uh, if you if you want a bit more hot, you can put uh, a bit of uh, Tabasco oh. if you want. Oh ya, kalau eh, nak cili. Yang nak lebih. Cili padi boleh tak kita iris? <laughs> <laughs> boleh juga. Kalau kita <laughs> buat. Beli setelah lah. Okay. Kita dah berubah. Kalau kita tengok dish tu sekarang, banyak cups eh. Yes, so, betul. So I think it's good lunch or you share like a... For you can share one big plate like Actually, this. Correct. Actually, this is suitable snack, for eh? a lunch time. A lunch lah, I would time, say. yes. Uh, I would not recommend it for a dinner. Uh, mm. Lunch time will be best. Kalau tak kena perut kempis, kalau nak perut kempis, jangan dinner. Kalau nak perut kempis, betul. Sebab carbohydrate memang wow. digunakan untuk tenaga. Jadi, kita boleh And jangan makan tadi waktu mana terlalu banyak. Oh, Coach. okay. Jadi, ada juga daun-daun di sini. Simple. Mungkin, so, I'm gonna come I know uh, now. Because sorry, yeah. banyak brown colour. So, kita nak kasi dia bit of green. Good Fiza. Jadi, apa sebenarnya... Uh, apa ni? Just gonna garnish this. Uh, daun-daun ni. Yes. Apa daun yes, apa ni sebenarnya? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna yeah daun-daun. Okay, yeah we have uh, Chinese celery ataupun with daun soap. Daun okay. soap sini, daun soap mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yang dah dihiris dan use your use the stalk also. I like the stalk of the ah, kerana apa? Potong eh? Uh, potong eh? Uh, so yeah, the stalk is good. So I'm just gonna put that in. So just the, this was thank you. Oh la la, look yeah. at that, look so at that. Ah, the so greens can make the difference. Yeah, use, use the leaves, yeah, use the leaves. The leaves also is very kerana, very good. Okay, daun daun ni semua juga mengandungi perisa perisa sejuk. Exactly. Uh, the, uh, the Natural. Own, yeah, obviously uh, the natural. parsley. Yeah. I like I like parsley. Di orang ada yeah. orang punya own health benefits. Exactly. Ah, uh, jadi yes. ini this looks good lah, kau. Yeah, yeah, parsley. And uh, yeah, just a bit of that on the side. And of course, my favorite, my favorite is, <laughs> is the cheddar and mozzarella cheese. Ah, look at that. that uh, very colorful yeah, sekarang, eh? Yeah, very colorful yeah. and so appetizing, eh? Appetizing Bau dia dah satu hal. Eh? Alhamdulillah, very beautiful. Eh? Eh? Oh, we have to try. <laughs> okay, just so to that's make sure it's it. good. Okay, okay, uh, if you want to take a look at it, that's my uh, dish today. Jadi dia dia chili F5 Okay. That's its own a, flavor, it's, kan? It's a full meal. Yeah, it's full meal. I'm, I'm gonna have some more. Yeah. Why don't you guys try the beans? The beans are good. I like the beans. I love the beans because the I beans. I want more beans. Yep. Yeah. It's it's a very good protein sauce. Okay. So it does add in a lot more of the plant-based food here. More. And you know what? I think kalau kita uh, free day, we taruh nacho sikit. Oh, itu dah jadi extra carb. Yeah, tortilla yeah. sangat. Carbo lah. Eh, yeah, so Baru Mexican, betul. Dia rasa ke makan ni dah. Dah dua kali dah ni. Whoops. Oh, yeah. So simple, my my drinks. I, I always like infused mm-hmm. water. So if you if you if Coach Rizal, you've been following since the first uh, episode, mm-hmm. can I bought uh, infused oh, yes. water? I mm-hmm. did the. Uh, you did the jackfruit. Yeah, jackfruit is the last one. The last mm-hmm. one before that, and uh, before that, I think I was using. Uh, 
What did I use? Is this infused water? So I like to use infused water. I, I bought this from the, again, the supermarket. I'm going to put this here. And Ryan, you have ice as well. Of course, you put ice in here. Mm. Ice is yeah. the best and you make it cooler. It's very simple. Just going to add uh, two very basic ingredients, mm -hmm. which is strawberry, strawberry and basil. I, I, there's a lot of benefit of basil. This is sparkling water, guys. Sparkling water. Ah, Use sparkling okay, water. Okay. Yeah. That is sparkling water. They add I a bit of easy fizziness. I've never tried basil with strawberries. I always do uh, tomatoes with basil, like veggie, uh, grilled veggie. Basil just have this nice smell. I've never smell made it. it. Yeah, I mean, fragrance. I prefer not think of it yeah. as a part of a drink. Oh yeah, you know? I've never done yeah. it before. Actually. So strawberry and basil is my it's drink. So you, when you do it, yeah. you don't smell. You, you have a and the good thing yeah. is, uh, tak ta letak gula, tak letak no, honey, no, no, tak no, no, letak apa-apa. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. smell the basil. Smell the basil. Oh, smell, smell. Yes, nice. Just, just dump, dump in here, dump in here, dump in here. And For those of you who do not prefer do not okay. like this gassy uh, effect, you can always use plain water. Lah. Betul. Mm, mineral water, okay. filter and water. Dump a couple of, okay, I just, uh, you don't need to make it like a slice. Just put Cut into half quarters, 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 quarters or half. Quarters of half. Depends on the size of the strawberry. strawberry. Uh, yes, it's very <coughs> nice. Eh? Look at the effect of the strawberries Ooh. being placed inside. Yeah, the yang fizzy, fizziness. Yes, yes, you drink ini lah, substitute. Yeah, but it's a good substitute. Yeah, you don't, have, yeah. don't have to add any honey or, or sugar. I don't mm. like that. Yeah, just, just, yeah. This is the perfect. You like so natural, this is natural, natural taste. Very healthy, natural taste. So, how long do you want to prep? About 15 to ha half an hour. Actually, the longer the better. The longer the better. Longer better. 15 yeah. to half an hour is fine for me, 30 yeah. minutes. Do so we have to uh, kacau kacau? Yeah, we do have to. Uh, but I don't know. It's okay. This is fine. <laughs> so I'm just pour one and two of my there just to have the effect, mm. and I'm gonna pour it so in. So the longer you let it infuse, the better. In the fridge, the better. And the better. cold, yeah. the cold. Yes, correct. So this is wow. my drink. Uh, well, I rasa I am chatting holiday ni. Oh, love it. Beautiful. Okay, so that's my drink, Linda. So very it's very nice. easy. So that goes very well with the Mexican. That goes very well with yeah. the so Mexican food, lah. Eh? Mm. Very nice. Very I know you guys so are, uh, are dying to eat this. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that's, that's my recipe you. today. Oh my gosh. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Result. So yeah. we have Coach two recipes Rizal. from you. Yes. And next we will have okay. Coach Raihan. So Yay. we can put aside okay. first and we will okay. upload the recipes okay. on the page later. Okay. Okay. So for my recipes, mari kita tengok infographic here. We have two recipes which is uh, the cheese okay. tato sandwich and then we also have the uh, van vanilla coco. Wait, what did I just say? <laughs> Your own recipe can Coco pronounce. vanilla ice coffee. Yeah, I even forget my there own recipe. It's about, it's about like because the recipes uh, I actually name it myself so but nak kasih the baby so creative, eh? Okay. So cheese tato sandwich are the last banana cheese dengan potato sandwich. So oh, sorry. Yeah. The, the the sandwich is just basically very simple. I'll show you the ingredients later. Mm -hmm. And for one serving of this cheese tato sandwich uh, is 262 calories. And then uh, for the other one, which is Coco Nila iced coffee, all right, is actually um, oh, okay. vanilla, coconut, coconut and coffee. coffee. Now, coffee usually kita pakai dairy, kan? This uh -oh. time there's no dairy. We are only using there? coconut milk. Wow, and it's a trim coconut. Yes, trim mm. coconut milk. Okay, so I'll okay. talk about it later when wow, I do that. Wow, right. this looks uh, good. Uh. This looks good. Pandai pandai betul. Coach kita ni semua masak eh. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. So I'm just gonna talk about the first recipe first, which mm -hmm. is my um, uh, cheese sandwich. So bahan bahan yang kita gunakan adalah roti biji dan penuh. Jadi ini adalah whole grain. Oh. High in fiber. Carbo. High in fiber. Yes, jadi bagus untuk kita mengusus besar, besar kan? Besar. Uh. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, saya juga ada carrot. Carrot atau pulu bak merah lah, baby wow. carrot. Carrot. Uh, carrot. Uh, dan potato. Jadi carrot, potato dengan mince meat saya dah rebus dan saya oh, so hari blend. Ada mince meat. Eh? So it's the rebus lah. Rebus dan blend dan akhirnya kita ada the rebus. paste. Oh. The paste. Ah, macam okay. paste lah. So mm. dah ada jadi siap dari paste. Uh, any seasoning inside? Ah, kita juga menggunakan cumin powder. Saya okay. juga skip cumin powder, chili powder dan juga coriander powder. All dry spices. And huh? pepper. Yes. Okay. Ah, I do. I add a bit of salt for flavouring. Yes. Right, you dah rebus tu. <laughs> yes, you dah buat paste. Do you do you still cook it again? Oh, tak tak payah. Tak payah. Ah, tak payah. Blender Boleh dipanaskan juga lah. lah. Okay. okay. Jadi saya akan uh, sabukan di atas roti. Jadi sebenarnya senang saja. Saya ni jenis yang macam juga kita semua sibuk kan. Uh -oh. Jadi tak ada masa nak. Like nak kalau uh, chef lelaki selalu simple okay. food. Simple food. But they, simple, they are very yeah. good to improvise yeah. how to yeah. get it. Yes. Food. Sedap. The good thing about this paste, kita boleh gunakan repeatedly. And I have minced meat inside, so I have my protein as well inside. So I'm just oh, gonna sedap, yeah. spread it all out. 
Okay. It reminds me macam hummus pula. Ah, Tapi dark ke colour. Actually, kita is when it? I taste it, it is like macam hummus. Eh. Uh, ada macam a bit of... Uh, the, the, well, uh, the texture is sama. Ah, the texture is the same, kan? Sendiri, yeah, so it has... Tapi taruh ini eh, olive oil eh. No it's if it's a bit dry, no? Correct. Oh, because you're going to toast it. Correct. We're going to toast it. Inside and I also dryer. have cheese on top. So the that's why I call it cheese tato because there's potato inside as okay, well. Okay, so cute. Yeah. Cheese tato. <laughs> cheese tato. The cheese now plus I potato. Now I know. Ah, baru tahu kan kenapa saya. Saya tengok concentrate dengan dia 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 dengan spread ni. Best. Ah, uh, I. Uh, and I'm, I I like it when it's really smooth. Mm. And all to the edges. Yeah. Nothing yeah, I, me too. Yeah. I like to do it. When yeah, I because sometimes kita miss a spot macam geram kan? Okay. Yeah. Right. So, setelah dah sapu ni kan, uh, nampak dah sapu macam okay. ni, saya akan sprinkle kan dengan, uh, saya cheese. akan letak ch- uh, cheese, a layer of cheese dulu, baru mm, saya akan sprinkle kan dengan. From yang the sliced Correct. Cheese. So, we just take it out the cheese. Alright. So, I like to be very cheesy. Oh. I'm a very cheesy person. If you think cheesy, I comment right there. <laughs> right there, and you don't have to elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended. Anyway, so, uh, wow. Yeah, so I like Again, you could choose a low-fat cheesy. cheese. Um, yes, if you're counting calories, okay. It's best if you choose a low-fat cheese. Exactly. Uh, oh, so you buat expose gini, you tak 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 tak. Oh yes, last last nanti baru saya letak. Yes, okay. okay. So I put this aside, and then last kali I put a bit of mozzarella oh, on it. I see. Okay, and then put a bit more mm-hmm. mozzarella Best here. Ni. Very simple sandwich, and like I see, satu ada 260 kilo kalori. Kan kalau kita buat dua tiga, the that will be like a lunch. Kita share dua orang. It's a proper mm. meal. Like a proper meal. Yeah, proper because meal. there's carbs. So yes. There's fiber. Can we put there's an extra uh, layer kalau kita nak, kalau kita nak lah? Oh, boleh. Dah jadi, dah, dah jadi Triple macam... Decker. Triple decker. Triple <laughs> decker lah kan. Ah, okay. Yelah, kalau jadi, untuk anda, memang sesuai lah. Ya, yeah, okay. correct. So, jadi, orang tanya saya nak buat apa dia dengan puzzle ni. Ini actually extra lah. Oh. Actually, it's prop. Oh. Cuma oh. saya ada the carrot. So, I have vegetables nah. inside already. Okay, okay. okay. Now, so, lepas ni? Kita akan bakar di dalam air fryer selama 5 minit. 5 minit eh? Okay, kalau anda tak ada air fryer, boleh pakai oven lah eh. Okay, mm-hmm. jadi saya akan ke okay, air fryer. Right. Okay. okay, kita lihat Raihan. Jadi saya akan letak di dalam air fryer. Lima Sebentar minit. Ya. Lima minit ya. Jadi air fryer ni memang penggunaan dia macam-macam lah kan. Eh, I, you know what, I think I love it that kita punya kelentang-kelentung pakai air fryer je tau. Yelah, pasal okay. memang kita masak dengan benda-benda air fryer, griller. Yeah. We don't, simple, simple. We don't, simple. Uh, okay. Yeah. Dan kita dah susun di dalam. Make sure kita you nak healthy it, cooking ni mesti ada utensils ya. Dia punya equipment. Dan set for about 5 minit. Dan cheese tu akan cair. Dan apabila dia cair, dia akan melt. Oh, dia melt. akan melekat dalam kakak-kakak. Oh, yes. Very delicious. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Jadi okay, itulah resepi tu? yang pertama saya. ya. Alhamdulillah, okay. sudah selesai. Mesti tolong awak. Selesai. Hmm. Okay. Letak di sini saja. Mari. Sekarang kita okay. buat air pula, ya? Okay. Jadi kita akan ke, uh, ke segmen air lah, kan? The okay. ice. So, so if you really love uh, ice coffee, this is a very, very much healthier version. Exactly. Wow. Okay. So. Ada berapa calorie saya tadi? Ah, uh, uh, 200. 200. 200. Eh? Okay. 200. Okay. This is non dairy. Ada yang tak boleh minum dairy ataupun tak minum susu sebab aku rasa macam nak muntah ke ataupun uh, ada effect kan ke dalam. No. Yeah, so like we will use uh, coconut milk. <coughs> so it gives a bit of that coconut flavour. Cuma I love saya. Coconut. You don't like pinak lada? Yeah, I love yeah. coconut. Eh. Ya, yeah, okay, sedap kan? Very coconut. Macam dekat Hawaii gitu, feeling-feeling. Ah, yes. I, I so, always suka coconut milk ni. Ya, yeah, I love it too. Yeah. Cuma coconut milk ni memang tinggi dengan lemak. Jadi, pilihlah trim Yalah. coconut Dan milk. Dan kita eh. tengok lah eh. Yes. Jangan hari-hari trim tekan. Ah, janganlah hari-hari tekan. Nah, sia-sia ah. boleh. Okey, jadi apa yang saya akan lakukan adalah untuk letak satu suku sahaja. Okey. Satu okay. suku. Ingat eh. Ini blender apa ni? Cantiknya. Tak ah, kan? ini <laughs> is actually my... Uh, apa ni self stirring mark ataupun you beli kat mana? Uh, saya beli di di luar ada supermarket ada tapi Semua tak tak, tak, tak rasa semua market dia ada lah uh, ada berapa ke tempat saja okey 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 nanti nak nak kira correct ah dia sebab senang kalau dekat office ah, just one serving kan? tak payahlah nak bawa blender bawa ni ah, je bawa ni dia one serving okey vanilla Tidak essence Okey, saya akan letakkan vanilla essence. Vanilla essence. Vanilla. Sebutan saya ni kadang-kadang ni ada sangkut sikit. Suka eh? Okey, saya letak satu teaspoon. Banyaknya? Wow, the smell is delicious. So that it <coughs> brings out the satu vanilla dua, essence. Satu je, satu. Okey? Satu je, satu. Okay. Dah. Setelah itu, saya letak madu. Jadi, seperti tadi, air yang minuman yang telah Coach Fizal buat tak ada madu kan? Tapi saya akan letak madu. Sama sebab manis saya manis. Uh, saya kurang manis. Saya, saya perlukan manis. Oh, uh, nah. saya seri, seri, seri. Tapi kalau yang tak nak letak madu, tak apa juga. Okay? Hmm. Saya cadangkan letak uh, about uh, one teaspoon 
or two teaspoon of madu. Okay. So some coffee drinkers, they don't prefer very thick coffee, kan? Tak nak madu langsung. Oh, yes. Okay, so I'm just going to stir it up a bit. So madu ni. Wow. Yep. I, those are these ingredients I dah suka. Okay. Coconut, Oops. honey and okay. vanilla essence. I'll help you with that. Alright. Then and lastly, kita letak coffee. So cara-cara dia oh, pun step by step ini. Kalau coffee instantly dia pakai yang sejuk pun boleh eh? Boleh, boleh dissolve eh? Boleh, boleh. Okay, yeah. just so a bit of like yeah. one teaspoon. Okay, and maybe another one. Yeah, if you are make it bigger, make it bigger. Ada susu, dia yes. tak lebih sikit lah. Yes, that's right. So ini ikut cerita rasa masing-masing lah. Eh? Yes, saya. Okay, hmm. so just put it one side. So once done, kita tutup. Okay. Sebab kita tak boleh blender buka lah kan? Maybe ikut Kalinda, you wanna do the, pre, you wanna press it down the button here. Ready for magic, Sekejap. everybody? Betul, okay. Betul, betul, betul. Okay, betul. Ready okay, and go. <laughs> wow. wow, so ah, cute! Kan terserah blender sendiri. How do you know this thing exists? Yeah. Cute aja. Ah. <laughs> Sedap ni. Tapi kau buat so this is quite thick. Yeah, so kita boleh tambah dengan air ya. So kalau kita ah, ada sikit lah, eh? uh, make it a bit more diluted, maybe kita ada air. Kita tengok kalau oh. anybody has air here, kita boleh make it a bit more less uh, thick. Ha, okay. Dah boleh bau like dah thick. kita punya roti tu. Ah, roti dah? Okay, so kita add a bit of water, and then we can make it thick. Then maybe we can share with yeah, you. Yeah, you water. Yeah, ah, water. Okay, awesome. Yeah. So the bab saya tak nak masukkan terlalu banyak kuku nak mio. It's because remember, it's it's uh, high calorie, high calories, and also to mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay. All right, and let it stir. Wow, but do we have cups to. Sh oh, we have mugs here. You know that. Okay, and once we have done stirring, we are done. Okay, so wow. sekarang kita tengok ya, adakah kita, saya punya roti ni hangus atau tidak? Tengok roti. Roti. <laughs> roti, apa cheese. khabar roti? Cheese tato. Cheese tato. How are you cheese tato? Yuhu. Let me see. Dah lima minit, <laughs> belum lagi. Oh, Ada dah hampir, lah. hampir lah, hampir ya. Hampir okay. Ah, tak apa, saya cepat kata. Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, and cute. How does it look like? <laughs> okay. Wow, it's really cheesy cheesy, cheesy, eh? cheesy eh? Now, I know some of you think it's hangos, but actually whole green is already brown. Yes, that's why it's jadi gini. That's why it's I like, like that. this color. Okay. Yeah. Mari kita ada ni. Tak sini boleh tak? Okay, silakan. Okay, <laughs> we oh, prefer the, the plate, right plate the plate oh, lawan sikit lah. Okay. 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 Kita ah. gunakan plate. Plate dan kita letak. Alright, so kita boleh lihat di sini. Kita letak plate. Oh, okay. How about that? Okay, nice, okay, very okay. nice. Okay, okay, okay panas. Saya ini terhiru pula nak ambil. Eh, macam mana ni? Tarik. Okay. Tarik, tarik. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a, uh, okay. Ah, okay, go ahead. Okay. I'll do yeah. it for you. Yeah, put it. Silakan. Okay. Buat dua je. Aduh. Kita potong lah, potong. Okay. <laughs> Kesian, dia dah lapar kan? <laughs> dia dah lapar. Look at the cheese, look at, look at, the the cheese. Look at how God. melty the cheese up. is. That's good. It's, it's like this, right? Okay. So, yang penting sekali adalah kita potong. Kita ambil dari pisau. Pisau dia macam nak potong ikan. <laughs> Rahan, saya nak yang triangle okay. ni lah. Yeah, boleh, boleh. I like, I like shapes. Look, I like shapes. So, I, I will like potong square and I'll put a triangle. I will oval. Okay. Like oval. I you want oval, I'll give this. <laughs> What's sendiri kalau tak oval, okay? What's sendiri, eh? It's not even oval. That's circle. Okay. Jadi masih panas lagi. Uh, okay, I just want to show this. this Can I have the camera here? I am just going to do this. That's due oh to the motion. Oh my oh. god. Okay. So, tada. <laughs> <laughs> melty, melty. Okay. So, and then we're going to cut so into... I'm so like you can cook can cook well. One quarter. And just then, make it cute. Just the make drink put in. Like 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 so this is actually, yeah, uh, for me, like a breakfast idea or a snack oh. idea. It's nice, it's nice. Look for afternoon snacks. Snack. Afternoon, afternoon snack, snack idea. And you are done. I just put it here on top. Okay, open it up a little bit. A bit cheesy Ooh. with my coffee. Your ice coffee. But we can't try. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Okay, so look at it. Okay, oh, panas ya, <laughs> panas ya. How could you? So, yeah, nak triangle, silakan I triangle. triangle. Okay. Sorry. Tengok ni, dia mereka lapar ah. sangat ni, nampak? Okay. Wah, boleh dengar. Wow. This is good stuff. 
I can uh, the vacuum in very strong. I think it's good. Mm hmm. Mm. It's I melting. I think you can taste all the. <laughs> Leave some for the cameraman. Every every oh, yeah. every <laughs> ingredient is good. Um, lobak they won't slap. The vacuum in many. Eh? You put. Uh, mm, one teaspoon. Okay. This is good. This is good. Uh -huh. I will make this tomorrow. Bro. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Oh yeah. Four recipes for you today. Mm hmm. Have you been in your? Semua sedap sedap lah. Boleh lah kita upload oh, okay, okay, recipe ya. Yeah. Okay. For joining us on Jadi our show tonight. Hmm. Dan tengok ni kita punya recipe for today. And your drink. Hmm. Ooh la la. Go. Different recipes, different vibe. Hmm. Apa harga ni kan? Apa harga ni? <laughs> eh kalau saya buka restoran, you all boleh lah kerja kat situ. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. So this is our recipe for perut kempis, good colon health. And then for everybody, I want to say thank you for joining us tonight. Yeah. Hopefully, you've, got le you've learned lots of things from us tonight. Yes. And our show will probably be on an evening nowadays. Mm -hmm. And I hope to see you all on Sunday. 4th of August yes. of Fiesta 5. Fiesta 5, everybody. Kita akan jugit. It is a celebration of the fifth year of, uh, of the existence of Fifth Fab the Movement. Thank five you for your years. support. My goodness. Five, five years support from yes, our members, from our, my followers, my fans who know me from TV. Mm -hmm. But right now, I'm doing this fitness thing. Alhamdulillah. Thank you Alhamdulillah. For, for your hard work. Thank from you. Both of you are going to re work really hard up to Sunday. And I can't wait to see everybody. And also one thing, see all of you guys. we're gonna show a little bit of what Fiesta was like in yes. the past. In the past, and it and has lots of, of memories for most of us who have known this movement. Oh yes. Um, let's take a look. Done, I'm, I'm and a bit of playback of the songs that we will be dancing on this Sunday. On Sunday. Yes. Just a glimpse of the songs. Yes.